I've talked to one of those protesters that you can see behind me, and he said he didn't feel quite happy with uh, Puigdemont's uh, speech. He said that, yes, indeed, he wasn't going to uh, 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 hold new regional elections, early regional elections, but he told me that uh, he didn't mention the word independence, declaration of independence. So he said he still doesn't really know where Puigdemont is getting at, and he's still, it's very unclear for him, so the situation is still very confusing. Many of these protesters that you can see behind me are brandishing the Catalan flag, the independence flag, and they're saying that uh, their only wish is that uh, tomorrow the Catalan parliament will vote for uh, the unilateral uh, declaration of independence. Uh, but then again, we don't know what uh, the, the, the parliament is going to go for. What we do know is that uh, Puigdemont said that he has exhausted all the ways of dialogue he could possibly have with Madrid, with central government. And he said that uh, Madrid, unfortunately, didn't want to hold that d dialogue with him. And he said that he was indeed prepared to make some concessions with Madrid, but that Madrid didn't really want to hold talks with them. Now, uh, that's what these protesters are saying. I've talked to a group of teenagers who've told me that they want independence because they say that uh, they are not satisfied with uh, Mariano Rajoy's policies. Uh, they say that they want to break away from Spain. They want to take control of their economy. As you know, Catalan is uh, one of the wealthiest uh, regions here in Spain. Uh, what we do know, though, is that these protesters don't intend to back down. Some of them have uh, got some tents that they've put on the floor and they're ready to sleep here, to camp until they get their independence.